Hello and good evening and welcome to this video tutorial that's going to be on Packet Tracer. In fact, Cisco just had a, or I should say the Cisco Networking Academy, just had a very significant announcement a few days ago. Uh, they've released Packet Tracer version 7.0. And so this video tutorial is going to cover a lot of the frequently asked questions about the upgrade. And I'm also going to walk you through, uh, even if you're not a Networking Academy student, how you as a guest can get access to the full-blown Packet Tracer 7.0 version uh, and take a look at the Packet Tracer 101 course. And so again, as a guest, uh, you'll be able to get in, download Packet Tracer, and check it out and use some of the uh, extremely cool features that have been added in. And so I'm going to touch on those uh, as we go along here. So first of all, uh, if you come to the About Us, and it's a little odd, I would have thought that they may have had the Packet Tracer 101 listed as a course here, uh, or maybe something under the Getting Started, but it's actually under About Us, and you can see we've got Packet Tracer right here. So when you click on that link, it's going to take you to another web page and I'm actually in an, uh, uh, Ubuntu um, what are we running here 16.04 and so this may be uh, a little slower than your average uh, web page it's running as a virtual machine on an iMac I have here let me refresh because there is more to this image than what you're seeing here there we go all right, so when you click on that link under About Us, come down to Packet Tracer, you can see right here, there's two basic releases for Packet Tracer. One is on Windows, and the other is on Linux. And I'm actually going to do the Linux install here. It's actually been made uh, extremely simple to install for Linux, almost as easy uh, as it is for Windows. So you can see right here, Packet Tracer for Windows or Linux. Sign up for Packet Tracer 101. It's a one hour self paced online course to help you get started. And you can download a free version of Packet Tracer. So it's here that you would click sign up. You can see it's going to spawn another tab in my browser. And then we're going to get to the Packet Tracer demo field. And we'll give it a second here. It's running a little slow. And this is where you would go ahead. And even if you're not a Netacad user, uh, again, you can sign up as a guest. And so here is where you would sign up. You'd put this text verification in and you can enroll. And once you fill these fields out, then you're going to be able to uh, download Packet Tracer and use Packet Tracer uh, as if you were a student. Uh, so I'm going to leave this tab right now and we're going to come back over here. Uh, and I'm actually going to log in and we're going to go ahead and show you. You can see they're highlighting Packet Tracer 7.0. They've got the Download Now link right here. So if I were to click on Download Now, what would happen is it would go ahead and present me with the uh, next web page, which is going to show me the different releases. Again, uh, still no release for the Mac. And I am anxiously awaiting, hoping, maybe for Christmas, that there'll be a version of Packet Tracer for the Mac sometime soon. So you can see here we've got your Windows version, 64 and 32-bit, and you can see the supported OSs, right? 7, 8, 1, and 10. And then the Linux desktop version, 7.0 in English, Ubuntu 14.04 supported for 64-bit, uh, and I'm actually running it with 16.04, and it does work. I do get an error message when I launch, uh, but I close it, and then Packet Tracer seems to work as intended. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, iconify this window. So what you would do is you would click on the version that you're interested in downloading, and let's take a look at installing this on, and this is something else I was working on here, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how to install it. So I've actually already downloaded the file uh, and extracted it into my home directory and you can see here Packet Tracer 7.0 or Packet Tracer 70. So let's CD into Packet Tracer 7.0 and see what we've got. So we've got a couple of files here. First and uh, most importantly we've got the install file. So if I were to say dot slash install 
Uh, and this is really, it's just a bash script uh, when you look at it. So if you're interested in sort of expanding your bash expertise out, uh, this install script would be a great script to take a look at. So again, we've get the end user license agreement, must accept, so press the enter key to read it. So we'll hit the enter key. And you can see it runs the end user license agreement through the more utility. And then do you accept? And so we'll say capital Y for yes. And then we get the option down here at the very bottom. It says you've accepted the terms to the EULA. Uh, congratulations. Now it'll be installed into the location. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in temp because again, I've already installed this. So I want to make sure I don't overwrite. Uh, it says it appears it's already installed. Replace it. We'll say yes. And what's my password? Well, we're just ABC123 here. And uh, should we try to gain root access? Absolutely. So you can see here what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and install Packet Tracer 7.0. Uh, and I would definitely uh, take the, the default here. Uh, do not actually install it in the temp directory uh, unless you're okay with it getting completely wiped out. Uh, at some point if you were to reboot or something like that uh, the temp directory is typically going to get wiped out so now they're going to create a symbolic link for me I'm going to say yes and that's it I mean it is that easy to install Packet Tracer 7.0 on Ubuntu and again you can download Ubuntu for free you can sign up for the Packet Tracer 101 self-paced course even if you're a you're a or even if you're a non Netacad user uh, you can still get access to Packet Tracer and you could throw it on your Ubuntu install just that fast. So let's go ahead now, if we were to try to launch, if I were to CD into user uh, local bin, I believe it's called Packet Tracer. There it is right there. All right, we had to restart the virtual machine again. Uh, system it's running on is an older iMac here. So uh, let's get into opt Packet Tracer and let's see what we've got going on. So we've got all of our install stuff here. So let's go ahead now. We've got a fresh reboot here on the virtual machine. Hopefully, uh, we're not going to have too many issues. And I uh, just want to get the user interface. And yeah, that the reboot definitely saved the day. So take a look at this, right? Uh, and the error message I was getting earlier, uh, no longer a factor. So that's always nice. Now, I know this is a little small down here, uh, but let's talk about some of the features uh, and some of the improvements. So. Uh, right out of the gate, uh, they've got span and rspan support now built into Packet Tracer. Um, Python, JavaScript has been added. Um, you've got um, DHCP uh, server port based address allocation support, LLDP support. I uh, got some new devices an 819 IOX router, uh, 829 router. Um, they have pretty interesting they have one called a generic thing and so again look you've got your 2901 so if we were to take a 2911 up here and then let's do a double click and take a look at that we're booting up right now so uh, I mean again it is literally that simple to download Packet Tracer 7.0 for Ubuntu to get it installed and off you go and so we would say no and there's our router we go into uh, privilege exec and the global config let's throw a host name on here router one right and there we go and so that is pack oops sorry that is packet tracer 7.0 uh, on Ubuntu and again we've uh, already talked about where you would go to sign up uh, to get access as a non networking Academy student so if you're uh, interested in networking looking to uh, sort of hone your Cisco skills and you're studying for your CCNA, this is an amazing way uh, to get access to a fantastic tool. So some of the uh, frequently asked questions uh, that they outline, um, most importantly for Netacad students, it talks about whether or not you can get access anymore to version 6.2, 6.1.1, 6.01, and any 5.x. Uh, and the answer is no. Uh, in fact, uh, in my login uh, login page I was on earlier, uh, the only versions of Packet Tracer that you can download anymore are 6.3 and 7.0. So going forward, you're going to be able to download 6.3 or 7.0, and both of those, if you're a Netacad student, those are going to require you to log in with your Net Networking Academy credentials in order to get access uh, to the fully functional Packet Tracer. Again, 
uh, as a guest, you could go through and take that Packet Tracer 101 and you're going to get access. Uh, but as a student, uh, you're going to need to log in the first time uh, that you run it. All right. Uh, so what about backward compatibility? Well, uh, anything that was created with 6.3 or 6.2 or 6.1.1 or 6.0.1 or 5, any 5.x, um, you're going to be able to run uh, with 7.0. So it supports any activity that was created in those previous versions, but it's not true the other way around. So if you create something in 7.0, it is not going to work in any other packet tracer version. So that's 6.3, 6.2, 6.1.1. Uh, so none of those are going to work. Uh, and again, if you take a look at how easy it was to install packet tracer, there's really no reason uh, not to download it and install it on your Ubuntu or your Windows desktop. And again, uh, hopefully there's going to be a version for Mac coming soon. All right, well, that is going to end this video tutorial. And really, all it was was to show you uh, the different versions of Packet Tracer for Windows and, and Linux, uh, to show you how, as a non Netacad student, uh, you can get access to Packet Tracer and then go off and you can build some topologies and you can really do some amazing things here. Uh, and again, remember, Packet Tracer is a CCNA tool. I want to make sure I caveat that, that it's a CCNA tool. So you're going to have a limited set of features and functionality uh, as compared to if you were actually on a real Cisco router. But again, at the CCNA level, and when you take a look, uh, and let's see here, have they added in, let's bring back the window here, um, router BGP, take a look at that. So they've added BGP, which is going to be a new topic uh, in the Connecting Networks, which is the fourth uh, Cisco Networking Academy course. They've added eBGP. And so as you can see here, you could even sort of hone some basic CCNA level BGP skills in by configuring BGP between two routers. So some very, very cool stuff in Cisco Packet Tracer 7.0. Uh, and again, I'm sure that you're going to investigate and find even more features and functionality that I just didn't wasn't even able to mention here in the video. So hopefully this is going to help you out. It's going to get you going with Packet Tracer and get you involved into networking. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, best of luck to you out there with Cisco Packet Tracer and have a great evening.